I hope my phone is connected. I didn't, I don't know if I connected to the Wi-Fi. Oh, well, I bet I have good enough streaming here. What do you think? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're live. So, hi, I'm Louise with, oh, I was gonna say with Simply Cooking with Louise. <laughs> well, that too, but also the salted pepper. And this is my nephew. Um, I'm Dylan and I'm from Cooking with Kids. All right, and Dylan's gonna join me tonight. We are gonna whip up some ice cream and while that's churning, we're gonna make something delicious that is what he wants, which is very kid friendly in the Ninja Foodie, okay? All right, so first thing what we need to do is make our ice cream batter, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna be, what kind of ice cream are we making? Um, we're making s'mores ice cream. Oh, you gotta turn your thing off. Yeah. Because it's gonna, yep. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's do that again. What kind of ice cream are we making? Um, s'mores ice cream. S'mores ice cream. And it starts with a vanilla base, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to give you the heavy cream and I want you to fill it. How many cups do we need? Mm. What did I say we would do? One cup. One and a half. half cups. One and a half cups of so, heavy cream. So, so this. Okay. That's one cup right here. Mm -hmm. Eight ounces, one cup. And then if you go right up to there, see, it's yeah. one and a half. And when you're measuring anything out, you keep your container flat on the surface and then you pour it in until it reaches that line right there, okay? okay. And if you don't have enough, I've got another one in the refrigerator. Looks like we're gonna have just enough. Oh, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, perfect, perfect. Good. Yep, good. All right, now we need to add a cup of whole milk so if we have one and a half cups of heavy cream, we have to have two and a half cups. Perfect. Good math skills there. All right. You see where the two and a half is? Mm -hmm. Okay. What fail? Okay. Hi Tanya. Hi Ellen. Hi Uncle Jeff. Uncle Jeff is watching. All right. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, hi. Tanya. And hi Sharon. Hi, Uncle Jeff. Hi, Chandra. And I'll keep an eye on the comments. Okay. Now, we also want to add about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And let me get, where did those little tablespoon things go? There they are. Okay. So you find a tablespoon. So how much? A tablespoon. So. That's a half of a tablespoon. A tablespoon. Yep. I'm going to pour it. Make sure it's clean. <laughs> All right, and you're gonna pour it in. Do you want me to hold this or are you gonna do it both? Um, I'll, I'll do it both. Okay. Pour it over there so if any spills, it just goes into the mix. Keep going, yeah, good, good. Good job. All right, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, now what else do we need to add? What else goes in ice cream? Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. So we want to get the sugar. And there's a half of a cup measuring in here. You can use that because that's what we need. Okay. So measure out the sugar. <laughs> Stream Guy Entertainment said, go little rock star. <laughs> All right. That looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. It's a little shy, but remember, it was a little sweet, so uh -huh. we'll be fine. Perfect. All right. And then we need one egg yolk, which I already have here ready for you to pour in there. And then you get to have some fun mixing. Oh, and a pinch of salt. Now, do you know why you add salt to something that's sweet like ice cream? No. Okay, you do, you add a little bit of salt because it actually brings out the sweetness. So, we add a little bit of salt to even sweet things. How okay. much? Mm, a half of a teaspoon would be fine. So. That's a tablespoon. See how it has a big T? Mm -hmm. TBL. And that's one teaspoon. See, it has a little T, and that's an eighth, quarter, 
And that's a half. Okay. Okay. All right. So hold that in your hand. I want to pull it. Okay. I probably should have gotten the other salt. <laughs> I think you're going to get more on my hand than on the on the spoon, but that's all right. You're doing good. This is taking full hours. That's okay. Okay, don't spill it though. Okay. I think this is doing it's, You know what? I think it's going to be fine. We'll put that in that. That was about a quarter of a teaspoon. That'll be fine. All right, now you've got a whisk. Right? Mm -hmm. and keep it in the bowl and just keep going. That's it. Perfect. Just keep mixing. Make sure that egg is well beaten. Hi, Mary. I know, I've been in Maryland for a few weeks, and I didn't put out any videos, but um, that's going to change soon. Oh, Tanya said that she wishes she had an Aunt Louise when she was younger, and that you should really appreciate me. Hmm? <laughs> All right, that looks good. All right, now. What does every chef do before or while they're cooking? What do you do with your food while you're cooking? Taste it? Yes, that's it. You taste it. So let me grab a Absolutely. spoon. Okay. Yeah. And you want to, let me just make sure that the egg is, yeah, that looks good, Dylan. Okay. So now take a little taste. And make sure. Mmm, tastes good. Okay, don't put your spoon back in there though. So it tastes good? Yeah. All right, so now we can pour it in the ice cream maker. You want to taste? Mm -hmm. I think you oh. should taste. Oh, you think I should taste? Just to make sure? Mm hmm. Okay. Looks good. Taste it. You mixed taste it very recipe. well. All right. Mmm. That's delicious. Yeah. Yeah, really delicious. Okay, so now we, we're using a Cuisinart ice cream maker. Um, Dylan got this for Christmas. And one of the things that I love about it is you don't have to do anything with the bowl. So it doesn't have to be pre-frozen or anything like that, like a lot of ice cream makers. So it's room temperature and it's perfectly fine because this has a compressor. So we've got to make sure, remember how I said we got to make sure it's in there. Perfect, yeah. just like that. The paddle's already in, so that's mm -hmm. good. So now you pour it and when you pour it, you want to make sure you pour it into here. You don't want to get it around here. Nope, not on the edge. You want to get it right down in there, okay? Okay. You got it? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, we're good. We have a spill. That's okay. Yeah. We'll clean it up. All right. I really might have a spill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. No problems. Let's clean the ice cream maker first and foremost, just to make sure. We don't have that much ice cream. Oh, but remember, as it churns, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Move this back a little bit. All right, I don't want to, I'll clean this up in just a minute, okay? Let's just go ahead and get the lid on, and then you can turn it on. The lid goes on a certain way too. Good job. Oh, I might need your stool. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so turn the power on. And then the timer. What did we set it for? 60 minutes. Six, one hour. One hour. That's right. Now, it doesn't always take that long, but while that's churning, we're going to whip up some dinner uh, with Dylan's choices. <laughs> And then we will get to the next thing. Well, we can do that. Let's get our dinner started, okay? All right, let's get that started because we're going to switch places. Mm -hmm. Now, Dylan's going to be in charge of the pressure cooker. So I'm going to do Oh, yeah. Yeah, not a whole lot we can do about that. We'll just talk a little louder, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, Darth Vapor said, cool kid. 
All right. So now we're going to switch. Look at what that said. Go Ravens, Dylan. Go Ravens, Dylan. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Now, some names we can't, um, we can't read. Um, we can't see the name. So if we don't mention you by name, that's why. All right. Um, yes, yeah, Sharon, I'm going to be making Sunday videos. Sorry I've lost my voice. I've been talking a lot. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients. First of all, what are we making for dinner? Um, you want to talk to the camera. Okay, remember the camera's here. We're making uh, I forget what it's called. Uh, I forget what it's called. Well, you wanted pepperoni pizza, right? Yeah. But we didn't have all the fixings for pepperoni yeah. pizza. So what did we decide to do? Pepperoni Yeah, like a pepperoni pasta. Yeah. Yep. We're going to do that with Kraft macaroni and cheese. And that's the first thing we need to do because the rest of it won't take very long. But we need to get the pasta cooked. Okay? Now, when, when you're pressure cooking, you have to have a thin mm -hmm. liquid, kind of like on the stove. When you're boiling pasta, mm -hmm. you know, you always have to have it in uh, liquid, in a, like water. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing we're going to do here because that's all we're going to cook right now is just the pasta. Mm -hmm. If I can open up the box. I don't know how to open the box. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to open the box. Okay. Got you got it? All right. Let me get... Whoops. We don't don't fell out. Well, we don't want to spill all the noodles everywhere. No, we do not. Okay, just a few. Okay. All right, so how do you open the pressure cooker? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we've got the inner pot in. We're going to dump in the pasta. Dump. Dump. Mara, do you cook with what water should I use? Refrigerator. Refrigerator, okay. All right, so how much. Okay, so it's just a thin layer on the bottom. So we want to cover that, but just cover it with water. So you go get some water in the cup. Okay. I'll come back over here to the comments. Hi, Peggy. How are you? Hi, Faith. Hi, Stacia. Stacia lives in Maryland. She lives up in Baltimore. All right. Uh huh. Okay. Oh gosh, are we gonna spill? No. Are, are you gonna even step up? Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Ooh, ooh. We don't want too much. Okay, I think that's enough too. Yeah, I do. So that was about two cups. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let me. Now I'll just move this around. Um, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm so used to doing it. I'm so used to doing it. Your face says you're doing a great job. Okay, that's enough. We just want to make sure they're under the water. So make sure they're under the water. Yeah, in a thin layer. Yeah, okay. Okay, now we're going to pressure cook. Okay. All right. Uh, how do you close the pressure cooker? That's right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then you want to slide the slider all the way over to the left. Turn it on. Okay. Now we are on pressure cook. High is what we want. This is your time here. But we don't want to go 10 minutes. If we pressure cook for 10 minutes, it would be mush. So we could go two or three minutes. What do you think? I think we tried two, but... We need another minute. We can go another minute. Okay. All right. So we will do two minutes, and then you have to hit the start button. Okay. And then make sure your seal. This is vented. This is sealed. So make sure it's floating right here. Okay. So it, yeah. So yep. So if it's over there, now you turn it to where it should be sealed, and it floats. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Now for our pepperoni pasta thingy. 
pepperoni. We need pepperoni. Where's the pepperoni? I don't know. Uh-oh. How are you going to make pepperoni? Pasta, we don't have. I don't know where the pepperoni is. Well, who would know in this house where the pepperoni is? I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Mommy will know where the pepperoni is, so we're going to ask Mommy. Okay. I'm going to go get it. Pepperonis. 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 Perfect. Okay. Now, do you want them whole or do you want them cut up a little bit? Cut up a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get... There are no pepperonis in there. Okay. Okay. More little pieces. All right. You want to you want to switch with me so you can. Okay. And then we need to find your knife. I have another one. I don't know if the serrated knife's gonna work for pepper. You know, you do you have kitchen shears like clean kitchen scissors? If not, that's okay. Because your birthday's coming up, and maybe Aunt Wee's can get you some stuff. You know? All right, well, we'll try. Let's try with, let's try with this one. We'll try. All right, what do you want? One pepperoni? No. Two? No. Three? No. Four? Yes. For the whole pot? No. Just for you? That's maybe the whole entire pot. The whole entire pack, that might be a lot. Let's yeah. see. Maybe let's like just... a handful. Okay. Let's grab out. How many how many cups of pasta does a box of Velveeta make? Uh, Do you know how we can find out? On the back of the box. That's exactly right. On the back of the box. So <laughs> you want to look and see. Serving size is about a third of the box. Uh, and it makes about one cup. So how so many cups total? Three cups. Yep, perfect. Boy, you're smart. You really are smart. What do you have to say? Nothing. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You want to come into close? Yes, yes I do. Okay. All right, perfect. perfect. Uh, Hi, Lois. Where have I been? I've been in Maryland visiting with my nephew, um, who's beside me here. And I'm going to get back into Bethel Springs real soon and get back to doing videos. All right. It's fine. It's it's fine. Is it? Maybe. Maybe. Right. Can I just use a butter knife? Oh, yeah, you can probably do that. I think a butter knife would be easy. Because I don't think I. Oh, well, I mean, I'd really have to clean those. Yeah. Let's use a butter knife. <clears throat> I think these are good pieces, right? I'm too big. I think these are. CW says, um, my 13 year old is up to eggs and bacon. Soon it will be pancakes. Well, what is your specialty? Pancakes. Pancakes. That's right. Make the pancakes. <laughs> Kylie and Danny, he is eight. And Marcus is careful with that knife, kiddo. I know. <laughs> That's too cool. Is it? No, it's okay. No, I think good. I think they're good size. I think you're doing good. And Debbie says you're doing such a great job, Dylan. You're a lucky young man, learning from the best. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. And Ellen asked, no, Ellen lives in the Netherlands. That's far away. Do you know where the Netherlands is? Mm -mm. Me either. Who, would, who in this house would know where the Netherlands is? Mm, Dodo. Dodo? I think, I think Mommy would know too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so she's very far away. And she asked, do you love, do you enjoy cooking? Yes. Yes, he loves it. All right, I think you're good there. You don't have to make them too small. Yeah. Okay. Now, you want to cut a stack at a time? Yes. Do you want to try that? Yes. It saves time. Yes, it does. Okay. So, see. There we, have, we only have 50 minutes left. We have about four of them there. That's enough, though. You don't need five. Oh, you're going to push the envelope? All right. Yeah. 
That's good. That's good. Okay, good job. Don't get too close to your fingers. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something. Take your. Watch me for a minute. Of course, I'm doing it from the other side. Okay. Take your. Take your fingers. Mm -hmm. Tuck them so that when you go down, you're never going to chop your fingers. Okay. It'll slide, and then you can just cut right through, just like that. Okay. Tuck your fingers under. I know it's a little hard. Let me get around here. Just to get your fingers right. So tuck your fingers like, like that. And then still hold on. But you see how the knife will go right down your knuckles. It's hard. It takes a lot of practice. I don't even do it all the time. I think these are good size pieces. Okay, perfect. And Rachel says, you're awesome, Dylan. You're already an amazing chef. Thank you. <laughs> I'm doing a lot at a time now. Okay, well, let's not get carried away. We definitely don't want to crush. And Stacia says, this reminds me of me and my son in the kitchen, just a little younger than Dylan, and just think he is now a professional chef of over 20 years. Thanks for the memory. So see, this could be the beginning of a great career. Right? Mm -hmm. We tried to stream to Dylan's YouTube channel, which is Cooking with Kids, but I could not get it figured out, the tech part of it, um, in time. So we'll have to do that another time. Mm -hmm. But if you can see, he commented, and maybe you could comment again. We're still creating, we're, we're still in good shape for time. Um, maybe you can comment again, and then people might be able to click your, your icon to be able to subscribe to your channel. And then they can see more of your videos. Yeah, when you play. Maybe I can go on the tablet or something. Well, you could do it right here. Yeah. Um, didn't you do it already from? Yeah, but my tablet. Oh, from your tablet. Okay. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Um, and Uncle Jeff says he cannot wait for the launch of your cooking channel. <laughs> And Kaylin Meyer says, Dylan, you're the best chef. You'll be a star one day. <laughs> hey, Dixie. Thanks for tuning in. And Dixie said, I'd love to watch your channel. Let me take off our comments. Okay, yeah. Maybe you should go talk to your fans. And um, Stream Guy Entertainment says, what are you making? So when you come back, you can tell everybody what you're making. Why don't you tell everybody what you're making? Well, um, we're making pepperoni pasta. That's right, pepperoni pasta. We don't know what we're doing. We just grab some ingredients out and we're just testing, giving it, giving it a whirl, right? Mm -hmm. Just testing. Now, do you like chunks of tomatoes or no? Do you? Do you like chunks of tomatoes? Mm -hmm. You do. Um, do you know where a uh, can of corn is? No, I do not. Hmm. Who the... in this house would know where a can of corn is? No. Uh oh. Guess what just happened? What? I turned the foodie off. Why did you do that? Well, it was a big accident. A really, really bad accident. Yeah. But we were preheated, so guess what happened? What? And we went two minutes. Did we go two minutes or three minutes? Two. Okay. So. I think I think we're done. We're good to go. Oh, shoot. I just turned it off again. Good. Well, you did that. I'll take over. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. We're going to let the professional do it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. We've already preheated, so even though I turned it off, it's still hot, so it went directly to pressure control. Okay, so we're pressure cooking. Now we need to figure out what else is going to go into our pepperoni pasta. Pepperoni. Yes. And what else? We've got some sauce. cheese. And a little bit of sauce. We've got some sauce here. And do you want chunks of tomatoes in there? Mm, 
No? Okay, that's fine. And then if we need to thicken it up, we can use some tomato paste. But I don't think we're going to need to. <coughs> I think we're going to be okay. All right, but we do need to open this up. Oh, and let's check our Oh, our ice cream starting to thicken. Look, yeah, Dylan. And, we, and I think we might need to start cutting off. You think we need Mix it. You think so? Yeah. So we're just ready until. Okay. How about this? Oh, somebody's calling you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry. He's, he's very popular. Uh, is that Lolo D? No, it's my nephew. My sister's son. Okay. All right. We've got 38 seconds left. Mm -hmm. And then we have to release the pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to want to be over here to do it. Are you afraid to do it? No. Okay. Have you ever done it before? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to go through how to do it. You need to make sure that your face is not anywhere around here. When it starts to come out, it's going to be really hot steam. Okay. Okay? So you don't lean over it or anything like that. You want to stand back. You're only going to extend your arm. You want to... Oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> and you pull back. <laughs> and you extend your, your arm and your finger, and you pull it towards you. Okay? okay? Keep going. Keep going. Perfect. Okay. You did it. Now, the next step, what do you think the next step is? Mm, put some oil in it. Well, first we have to make sure the pasta is cooked right. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, normally I would add salt to the pasta water. But because we're using this cheese, it's got plenty of salt in it. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. I wish we had some broccoli. Wouldn't broccoli be good in it? Oh, did you see a look? Oh, my gosh. No broccoli. We'll have broccoli on the side then. Mm -hmm. If mom, if we still have the broccoli left over, I think we do. But you have to have a vegetable, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Or I've got a little salad too. So I don't think the lettuce was looking too good. And look, your ice cream. You're right. Now we're in a time crunch. Yeah. We're in a time crunch here because the ice cream is getting close. We don't have the mix-ins done. But we've got to address this. Yeah. I know. This is cooking. This is cooking, kid. <laughs> and my voice is so hoarse. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. I'll open it up. Yeah. So we're, oh, yes. That's right. you got to slide the slider. Now, if it doesn't slide right away, it, oh, it does. Okay. Now, lift up. Now, be careful because it's very steamy. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Water's dripping there. That's okay because it will collect in this cup. See, look at it go. Mm -hmm. Look at it go into that cup. All right. So give a stir. Oh, perfect amount of water, Dylan. Mm -hmm. Perfect amount. There's none left. The pasta looks good. Okay. Now, well, first we need to make sure that the pasta is cooked all the way. I think it's too hot for me to taste it. Well, it's a little too hot right now, so we'll just let it, let it cool for a Why me? I think, I think that you're good, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Put the pepper in. Yeah. Just yeah. Just put that in. And now we don't want it to get too liquidy. So I think we're only going to put half of this cheese in. Okay. Like how much? Half of it. Half of this container. Okay. So we're only going to put half in there right now. Okay. We can add more if we need to. And if we need to, we can add more. All right, give it a stir. Now, do you want to pour it in the sauce or do you want to stir while I pour in the sauce? Um, I want to do both. Yeah. I 
the same color. I can. You can? Yes. Okay, you don't want to get it too saucy, right? Can you? I don't know. Maybe you can pour it in and then do it again. Okay, all right. You don't want to pour the whole thing in, though. Okay? Yep. And then, like, how much? Um, maybe a quarter of it. Oh, that's good. Good. Okay. Now give it a stir. In the middle. Of the Okay. All right. Yes, Rachel. Homemade ice cream and it s'mores ice cream. And Ellen says you were brave. The first time that she uh, did the pressure for the pressure cooker, she used a spoon. <laughs> and somebody, Jeremiah, said that he just ate pop roast. Oh, Ellen. Is that your cat? Yes, my favorite. Ellen Miles. Yeah? Keep up the good work. All right. Okay. Now, what do we have to do? I think I'm good. Okay. What do we have to do? What do, what do we have to do as we're going along cooking? No, not yet. We have to taste it. So get a little bit on that spoon. Get a little bit there. Okay, and put it onto here. Okay, did you get a little pepperoni? No. I don't think so. Here, I'll just grab it. Okay. Okay, now you're taking on. Be careful because it's hot. It cooled down a lot. It did? Oh my god, this is so good. It's good? Okay, do you think it needs anything else? No. No? Now, do you want to put a crunchy cheese? Topping on it? Like, mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do that. Alright, so what we need to do is look at the sides here. See how the sides have all this stuff? Mm -hmm. We want to push those down into the pot. Okay. And we have to make the topping. So we do, I have some Parmesan cheese, yeah. and that'll be good. Okay. I don't know if your mom has any mozzarella, we could ask. And I know she has some panko. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to make up a quick little topping. Do you want um, mozzarella? Do you know? If not, no big deal. It's, it's a little bit. Hmm? It's a little bit. Okay. Mmm! What does that taste like? Tastes like pizza! Yeah! Okay. Panko. And cheese. Perfect. Now we probably need about a cup and a half mm -hmm. total. So I'm going to put about a cup of panko in. Well, if you want to know that I have like a thick in that, it was the exact of the cup. I don't even know if I need to worry about the parmesan. Do I need to worry about grating the parmesan? Yes. I do? Yes. Okay, well, we've got to find a cheese grater. And then I'll put about a half of a cup of this cheese in. Mm -hmm. Then pull it in? Nope, not yet. We gotta get you wanted me to grate the parmesan in there. I think we need a bigger bowl. I got I got a bigger bowl. Can you reach that? Ooh, okay. Perfect, perfect. Oh, the dog is over. The dog smells the good food. Yeah. Blamers. <laughs> okay. Do you need a cheese grater? You want to be 
Okay. Okay. You can't find a cheese grater. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. All right. Because we improvise, right? So I'm going to take your knife. Got it. And we're just going to grate it. I want to do it. Okay. Good. Come on. <laughs> It's hard. I got it. Oh, you gotta go with our ice cream. Okay, maybe Aunt Louise should do it. said hi Kellen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay we're gonna mix this up and now you spread it all over the top in a thin layer you want it evenly across all the pasta because we're gonna air fry so you might want to do this with your hands yeah. because we're gonna air fry and if you air fry pasta it gets hard so you want to just sprinkle it all around And bump the hands. Yeah. And you can probably see over there a little bit better than I can. Hand bump. I think we're good. Okay, Mama C said hi guys. And Nancy, we need Nancy. Use a box screen or a vegetable peeler. A vegetable peeler, that would have worked. We made it work though with the serrated knife. Now we've got to hurry up because now we've got to clean up. And we've got to get our Sweet fixings. Oh, we need to do it with the underscore. I'm dumping it. I'm a little kale. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this. Okay. Okay. With the whisk. Well, you did a good job. You don't need a whisk because you want it on top. Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to close the lid. Woo. Yeah. Close the lid. And now we want the slider here because we're going to air fry. Mm -hmm. See how this light air fry stove top. So now we want to turn the dial. First we have to, we have to turn it back on again. So we want it to, the air fry to be lit up, which it is. And we don't want it to burn. So we want to take our temperature down to about 325. And we will set the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, so set the time for 10 minutes. And then we blah, 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 blah. And then hit start. Now we're not going, we have to cut yeah, we gotta, yeah, we gotta hurry up. I mean, yeah, we gotta hurry up. So wait a minute, I gotta clean up. Because yeah, we're going from something savory mm -hmm. to sweet. And you don't want Parmesan cheese in your s'mores ice cream, do you? No. That would not be very good. Right? No, it would not. <laughs> All right, so let's get this cleaned up here. Um, and now so we can... I'm gonna eat the comments. Do you want to cut your marshmallow? I'm gonna eat the comments. Okay, we um, can't do both. <laughs> All right, Sharon wants me to put this recipe on the website. Sure, because it was what, like three ingredients? Yeah. Okay, you can't cut like that though. You've got it only do you can. Hey, I'm your sous chef. If you want to read comments, I'm happy to cut. So, what do you want? You want to cut? You want to read? Okay, I'll cut. And read them out loud. That don't know. I know. It can be complicated. Are they on their phones? It's hard. Sometimes it's hard. Um, it, it, because you have to. Are you on it right now? I can show you how to do it. All right. Are these too big? Yes. Oh, man. Yes, they are. Okay. I'll cut them in half. You're hard to work for, Dylan. All right. Oh, you know what you can start to do? Why don't you start breaking these up and put oh, yeah. them in this bowl? 
You want to break them into bite-sized pieces. So our ice cream is ready for mix-ins. So that took 30 minutes. So we set the timer for 60 minutes, but like we're ready to add in our mix-ins. We might have to have an upside down dinner. Yeah. Do you know what that means? No. Like on the dessert box. Yeah. Yeah. So we might get to eat ice cream before we eat our main dinner. No. Well, we, how about we just have a taste? Here, you can put this right in this bowl. Cause, yeah, because we're not even going to put these in the freezer like we did last time. They're going to go right in because you hear how the machine's making a different sound? That's the sound telling you that it's it's pretty much ready to have the mix-ins put in. If the motor's working a little harder. Yeah. Helen says that that, that food is good. Um, Did you figure it out? How to come it? Oh, definitely. All right. You got to like crumbs in it. It's okay if this crumbs. All right, we're going to do the chocolate bar. Now, should we put the whole chocolate bar in or half? Um, I think do it. <laughs> or, Dylan, do you want a little bit of fudge going through it? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay, so let's just put in half, and then we'll put in a little bit of fudge. Because I've got that ganache from dessert the other day. Oh, we got to get going, get out. You hear it? Oh, there it goes. It stopped turning. And that's just because it got so thick. All right, that's okay, though. We'll just power it off. We can power it back on. Put these in. Okay, let me grab the ganache. in there too. Oh my gosh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Here, look at the camera when you're talking. C Cindy, yes, it is the um, little ninja. And this model is the OL601, I think. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's a six and a half quart. Right. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. I can do it. Of course. Okay. Better than me. No, we want to put right in ice cream. You want to switch with me? Yes, please. Okay, let's switch. We don't need to put too much in. Oh my gosh, everything's ready at once. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work too well. I should have probably microwaved a little bit. Let's skip that. That's going to be, I think it's just going to freeze in there. Okay, so go ahead. Now, let's go ahead and put the mix-ins in the way you would if we didn't let it go too long, okay? Oh, I'm so short. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, I can't get it to... You know why? Because I know why. Okay. Uh-oh. Um... You might have to do this manually, Dylan. Daniel said, I think I'll order a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know if we're going to get this mixed in because I let it go too long. But we can see. Let's see if we. I might have even froze it. too long before we added the mix-ins. Mm -hmm. Totally my fault. Yes. Totally my fault. Yes. Um, because you wanted to do your mix-ins and I made you wait and I shouldn't have. So mm -hmm. that's my fault. So now we have to wait for it to just kind of cool. 
warm up, not cool down, warm up some. Mm -hmm. Because you won't be able to get that out. And if you try, you're going to break it. Because what happened is it started to warm up a little bit and then it froze the container to the bottom. It happens. All right. So, this looks good though. You want to look at it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let me get you a little plate. And then, oh, yeah, hopefully, by that time, the ice cream will be ready to taste. And then we can. This kid's some kind of super chef. <laughs> All right, now this is a non-stick pot, so we can't go in there with anything metal or it will um, make it, um, you know, you know, what would happen? It's a non-stick pot. If we use metal, what will happen? It'll scratch. That's the word I was looking for. Mm. Okay. So now be careful. Stand up straight because this is hot, okay? So you need to be mm -hmm. careful mm -hmm. when you go in there. You need to be careful. And oh, it's crunchy. And cheesy. Look at that cheese pole. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. All right, now this is just a little taste, taste. okay? Yeah. So we don't need to do a big plate. We want to do a little taste. Pass. Um, now you don't need to eat with that because we'll use that to keep dishing it out for everybody who wants to eat it. Whoops. So you need a little fork. Mm -hmm. All right, this Thank is you. Chef Dylan's creation, and what is it called? What's it called? You gotta a, tell people. A pep a pepperoni pepperoni pasta. Pasta. Is it too hot? Meanwhile, I will try very hard not to ruin the ice cream. Mm, what good. do you think? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like pizza? Mm -mm. No? What does it taste like? Cheese. Okay. Anything else? Noodle. Yeah, noodle for cheese. Does it taste like spaghetti? Yes, it does. It does like taste spaghetti. a little bit like spaghetti? I don't know how in the world I'm going to get this out. How, how am I going to get it done? Um. Oh, let me think about that. Get wild and put it down the sides. All right, Mama C says, thank you. Please make more live videos with Dylan. Dylan, we're going to have to get together and, and do this again, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. I think we need to get some maybe a thing of water and pour it down the sides. Well, I don't really want to do that because I don't want to. Although, yep. in theory, that would work, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it'll mess up the machine. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to mix it by hand, and you're going to taste the ice cream. Oh. And then. I'm my machine. Well, I'm hoping that we, because it's, it's kind of softened, but it's still frozen to the bottom. But it looks delicious. It looks so good. All right, so now we need to get you a little thing that you can taste your ice cream. What do you want to taste today? Mm -hmm. Well, how about a little cup so that people can yeah. see it? So we'll do like a little glass, glass cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. S'mores ice cream. And it took about 30 minutes. Maybe what? How long do you think it took us to mix up 45. the mix? Do you think it total 45? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Chef Dylan, taste. Good. It's good? Darn, I cannot get this out. Well, we're just going to have to let it do its thing. I think I'm going to have mm -hmm. to put that in a container in the freezer and then just let it totally thaw. And then we'll get it out and we'll clean it up. And that's the way it goes, right? Sometimes things don't work out. But we can always fix them. It's good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks. Oh, I'd love to. Thank you. Oh. Oh, my. You know what? This is better than the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I just got a little piece of that ganache. 
that, that was delicious in there. So next time we make it, we'll swirl it in, but it will be warmer. So it won't, you know, and it'll swirl into the mm -hmm. ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think it's better than the first batch. I really do. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you want to say to everybody before we um, head off? And you look at the camera. Um, somebody's asking me, Louise, can the ice cream be made in the creamy using the same measurements? I think that you could make the base the same and freeze it like you do with the creamy. So just mix it up like we did and freeze it. But what I've noticed with the creamy is when it's frozen and then you put it into the machine, it gets a little chalky at first if there's not enough fat content, which is why a lot of the recipes will call for cream cheese, which I think alters the taste too much. So I don't like to do that. But if you spin it a couple of times and then do your add-ins, it should be perfectly fine. So, yeah, you, it should be perfectly fine. All right. So, Ellen says, thank you, Chef Dylan and Aunt Louise. So, now we are going to sign off. So, you say goodbye to everybody. Thank them for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. And they can catch us next time, right? Mm hmm And we'll make sure. we'll Maybe we'll do an announcement ahead of time. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then maybe we can even put out like a ingredients list and maybe some people might want to cook along with their kids. Yeah. Because that's it. Cooking with kids, right? Mm -hmm. All right. We can't wait to get some stuff up on your channel. Yeah. And then everybody can run over there and subscribe to it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. All right. So I'm Louise with the salt and pepper and this is Dylan. It's cooking in kids. Cooking with kids. Cooking with kids. All right. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the broadcast.